Nintendo did it. The Mad Lads pulled it off. I am stunned. You see, masterpieces. It is something that is happening more frequently in the video game industry where old video games are coming back. And sometimes some of those games are best left alone. Like they're just masterpieces from a bygone era. And you're kind of afraid that new age video game development might ruin it with microtransactions or just not really maintain the core of what made such a game great. And Nintendo has actually done a pretty good job with some of their ports and remasters, but they haven't really touched a lot of their old school library, bringing it back and, and paying it the proper respect it deserves. So you always wonder what's going to happen when you hear something like the Metroid Prime remaster is here. Well, obviously we know at this point they did it. The Metro Prime remaster is utterly fantastic. There's credits to a billion studios, including Retro Studios. So we're going to stay out of who to really credit for all of this, other than saying that, hey, Nintendo published this game. They're the ones that made it happen. So here's the deal. The Metro Prime remaster has a 95 on Metacritic. That's utterly amazing, stunning, and just unheard of, right? We don't get a lot of 95 plus rated games. Elden Ring was the last one to pull that one off from the AAA space. Obviously, we know Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey pulled that off, but even Nintendo doesn't get a lot of games rated this high, and yet a remaster of a 2002 game is sitting here with a 95 overall rating. People are utterly impressed. In fact, I finally started playing the game for myself Thank you, Nintendo, for sending me a copy. Sorry it took a little extra time to get to it. I've been busy. I haven't felt good. But, dude, the Metroid Prime remaster is fantastic. And before we talk about more in this video, I want to remind you that, hey, we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. And if we can get to 100,000 subscribers by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out, we will give away a collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom. That's right, that steelbook, those pins, that, that uh, what is it, metal poster, I think they're including the amazing art book. That's right, we're going to be giving away one of those very hard-to-get collector's editions if we get to 100,000 subscribers. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and let's get on with the rest of the video. So what I actually find amazing here is what Metroid Prime Remaster is reminding some people and this came up on a Reddit post uh, over here on the Nintendo Switch Reddit and I want to read this post to you guys because I feel like there is a lesson to be learned here. So the post says Metroid Prime made me realize I'm not the problem. Hi, starting with context, I'm on the older side as in I'm in my 30s me too, buddy. I'm not what you would generally call a gamer by any means. Casual gamer at most. I'm a lawyer and extremely busy and satisfied with my career. Now, from time to time, as I do own a Switch, I will try to game here and there in my spare time, and I will always get the same feeling. That feeling is, my time is better spent elsewhere. I never seem to get the same kind of enjoyment that I used to get when playing. I'll be honest, I was sure the problem was within me. As you grow older and wiser, your perspective changes. That's true. But then came Metroid Prime. Solitary. Being a lone hunter in a foreign, hostile environment. That's it. Nothing more. Turned off the tips under the display settings and set out to explore. I was completely blown away. Learning about the world through my visor, backtracking, trying to find new access points that were unavailable before, etc. I've found that same enjoyment that eluded me for decades, honestly. It was right there, waiting on Talon 4, and then it hit me. I'm not the problem. Modern game design is. At least for me, it's as simple as that. I felt a game that respects me, never holds my hand, pushing me to explore while threatening me with the loss of progress, forcing me to choose between pushing forward and backtracking. I may never feel that kind of enjoyment out of a game ever again. This is a relic, after all, of a bygone era, brought to light to have one final swan song, but it left me feeling nothing but elation. I'm now sure that my sense of wonder, my ability to enjoy losing myself in a game, and all those fantastic things I was sure was lost to time 
are still here waiting and just knowing that is enough. Edit. I'm kind of surprised that this got some traction. Still getting some traction, buddy. So first, thank you for reading my post. Now, since it turned into somewhat of a recommendation post for me, I've got more games that is both exploration and solitude, as in I don't want NPC interaction whatsoever, even as a radio in my head, than Fire On for Switch or PC. Though it's something outstanding, I don't mind buying an Xbox as well. I've really enjoyed Metroid, and I'm chasing that high. Obviously, this is a very specific use case where somebody really likes a very, very specific form of gaming, and Metroid Prime just scratches that itch just right, right? Like, But, but that's the thing. It, I wanted to read this post because Metroid Prime is sort of a game from a bygone era. How many games are honestly like this in today's world? right? There's basically no NPC interaction whatsoever. If you die, the game punishes you by losing progress. This is just, a, it's a bygone era that, as we're seeing with game reviews, is still highly respected and desired. So hopefully, with Metro Prime Remaster doing its thing and being utterly amazing, and I'm having such a great time with it, it reminds the gaming industry of a certain type of game that still should exist. Now, of note, obviously Metroid's always been a bit more of a niche franchise. I mean, so is Castlevania, so the whole Metroidvania genre's always been sort of niche, but it's a niche that has some very, very passionate gamers. And I do think if we got more games like this, not just Metroidvania-style games, but these 3D solitude experiences, I do think that a lot more people that are missing games of the past will be very, very happy with this. See, we're getting, you know, old school JRPGs back, right? We're getting those HD 2D like experiences. So people are getting really happy with that. We're starting to see a revisiting of all these old genres and bringing them back again. But this is the one, like the way Metroid Prime did things, there hasn't really been anything else to match it. So I'm hoping that maybe Metroid Prime 4 can do that. And if not Metroid Prime 4, then some other new IP or new idea from somebody else. All I know right now is Metroid Prime Remaster came out about a week and a half ago, and it took me this long to finally talk about it because I've been so focused on Tears of the Kingdom. All I can tell you right now in my brief time playing the game is so far it is utter perfection. All right? People might think I have something against the game after the last podcast episode when I was trying to tell Andres Restart that, well, it's not really that impressive. It's not that impressive, and I still stand by that statement in so much that people are acting like this is the, the God's greatest gift to visuals or something. There is definitely some nostalgia involved in talking about how good the Metroid Prime remaster looks. It does look really good for a Switch game. And that's how I feel playing it. But the bottom line is the gameplay, the world design. It's, it, it's utter perfection. It was utter perfection back in 2002, and it still holds up to this day, letting you know it was utter perfection back then. Oh, they've made some improvements. They've changed a little bit how the doors work. They've obviously added a lot more effects in. I get it. Okay, they've made some changes. Controls, holy crud. But man... Metro Prime was a masterpiece and still is. And I'm glad that we have it now. I can't believe Nintendo's only charging 40 bucks. So do yourself a favor if you've never played a Metro Prime game or the first time you touched Metroid was Dread, go get Metro Prime Remaster. It releases physically here in four days, or you could just go and get it, you know, on the eShop right now. Anyways, folks, that's my Metro Prime video. Had to cover it. I, sorry I made you guys wait so long. I'm just blown away. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.